Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what are your person's current feelings for you? What are your person's current feelings for you? All right, so let's just go ahead and get started. And just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. All right, so let's get started. Spirit, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Aquarius, whoever it is that Aquarius is connecting to in love and dealing with in love. What are their current feelings for Aquarius? Okay, let's get two shuffles. That's one, and one more. And two. All right, Aquarius, first card we have here is the moon upright. Might be connecting with a Cancer or a Pisces. We have the Knight of Cups upright. Could be a Scorpio as well. The King of Pentacles upright, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and the Nine of Cups upright. Aquarius, so in terms of this person's feelings for you, this person feels like, like you make them happy. That's what I'm getting. All of these cards are really positive cards, Aquarius. Um, I feel like you're dealing with someone here who's completely devoted to you, who's completely emotionally invested in you. They see you as the one, the one that they want to be with, the, the one that they want to sh um, give their love to. They want to offer you a, a new beginning in love. They want to offer you a, um, a new beginning in a relationship. They want commitment here. They want stability with the King of Pentacles. And with the Nine of Cups, it's like they see you as their wish fulfillment. They see you as, as their happily ever after. They feel like they feel complete with you. They feel like you give them that all the happiness that they that they need or that they that they want in life. So I feel like this person is just completely devoted to you, a hundred percent. So obviously that's not going to be for all of you Aquarius, but these are really, really good cards. So for some of you Aquarius, um, you've, you've found a good match here. At least that's, that's what it seems like here. So I'm just going to hop into what are your feelings for this person, okay? How are you um, responding here to this person? Spirit, please show me what are Aquarius' current feelings for this person, whoever it is that they're dealing with in love here. That's one. Let's get one more shuffle. And two. All right, first card for you, Aquarius, is the King of Swords in reverse. Why is this king yellow? <laughs> this king is really yellow. I just bought this deck of cards, so I'm just um, I'm getting to know its details here. King of Swords in reverse. Okay. What else? What are your feelings, Aquarius, for this person? We have here the Six of Wands in reverse. The 
the sun card in reverse but you lack a lot of confidence here Aquarius all of these cards represent feeling um, a low sense of confidence what else and the ace of cups upright okay Aquarius so for some of you you might be feeling like this is too good to be true you know you might be feeling like there's some sort of trick here like there's some sort of trap you know like yeah because I'm seeing a, a lack of confidence here especially with the six of wands in reverse and the king of swords in reverse you feel really skeptical right when this king is in reverse this is someone who's sus who feels suspicious who feels sus skeptical someone who feels like they're not really clear they, they lack clarity they lack information so you feel like maybe you don't know enough information you feel like you don't have enough evidence we do have the ace of cups here so you do want a new beginning here in love so it's not like you don't want you're not it's not like you're not interested in love um it's just that you're you're second guessing yourself here and you're second guessing this person so let's clarify your energy okay because uh, your your energy is a little bit more um, complicated than their energy spirit tell me more about the king of swords here clarify the king of swords please in reverse one more shuffle we have here the two of cups wow interesting so the two of cups is a card about um, a relationship it's about feeling connected to someone feeling a, a strong bond a strong emotional connection to someone feeling love for someone yeah, so you're you're not sure about this love. It's like you're it's almost like you don't trust it. You have love for someone. You feel love for someone, but maybe you're not sure about their intentions. Okay, let's get another card. The fool upright. Yeah, the fool is a new beginning, so um, there is an opportunity for you to have a new beginning here in love and in, in a relationship. But again, with the King of Swords, it's like you're, you're, you're holding yourself back here a little bit, okay? All right, clarify the Six of Wands spirit, please. And we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Again, a lack of confidence there, holding yourself back. What else? And the Devil in the reverse. So the Devil can represent you, you having insecurities, you know, um, personal issues here with feeling insecure or feeling. Um, feeling scared, feeling fearful. So this can just be your own personal issues, okay? Your own personal uh, demons here, okay? That are creating um, a lack of confidence for you, okay? Maybe, you know, you're thinking about the past here. You're thinking about 
um, whatever negative situation you went through in the past and you know you're you're drawing fear from those experiences okay all right let's clarify the sun uh, we don't need to clarify the sun actually that well I don't know. let's clarify just to see one card please to clarify the sun ten of wands upright Yeah, it's like I said here, um, I don't know if you've already been with this person. I don't know if maybe you had an ending with this person previously. Um, and maybe that's why you're, um, you're doubting if things will be different. Um, but if, it, if this is a new person, then it's like you're thinking about the, the heavy burdens that you've had to carry in your past. And, um, you know, you're feeling fear. Um, about repeating those experiences okay clarify the ace of cups here and we have the eight of cups upright and the nine of cups Well, this is weird. I don't know why the Eight of Cups here is here. This is about walking away here, walking away from something, walking away from from your happiness or walking away from what you thought was your happiness. Um, Let me get another card. <laughs> Strange energy there. The judgment card. Okay, so there is a decision that you have to make. And I feel like the decision is that you have to make is, are you going to walk away from your happiness? Are you going to walk away from your wish? For your, yeah, your wish, your wish fulfillment. Because I think for some of you the problem is that you feel you're scared about it because you feel like it's too it's too good to be true it's too perfect you know like there has to be some sort of um trap or trick you know so i think you just have to decide here with the eight of cups whether you're willing to trust this this new beginning this new opportunity if you're going to allow yourself to trust in this and and to take a leap of faith and to take a risk okay all right Aquarius I'm gonna leave the reading here that's everything I see let me know if this resonated if it did please give me a thumbs up I'd appreciate it and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye Aquarius take care